What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to my kitchen. We are fast approaching the Anabar launch date, baby. We've been getting a lot of comments. Everybody asking, when are these finally dropping? We got one flavor besides these bad boys. It is gonna be done hopefully in like a week. We had a crazy storm hit Texas. Uh, you probably heard about it. And it set us back like a week, but mid-March, man. We're gonna have these out at least by the 15th of March. So mark your calendars, follow me on social media, and uh, you'll, you know, you'll know when they're coming. Cause I guarantee we sell out uh, first weekend. Guarantee it. So be on the lookout. If you've been following the channel for any stretch of time, you understand how important French toast has been, anabolic French toast as a breakfast. It's simple, it's cheap, it's high in protein, it's extremely filling, everything we want in a good recipe. But if I had to pick something it was missing, that something would have to be chocolate. So in today's video, we will be making anabolic chocolate French toast. Everything you love about classic French toast, yet we've infused it with chocolate flavor and added even more chocolate on top. If you're the type of person that isn't turned off by a little bit of chocolate at eight o'clock in the morning, then look no further than this video, because I'm telling you, it just just might change your life. And if this recipe looks great, the idea of eating foods you actually love sounds like a good time if your goal ultimately is to lean down, live an anabolic life, build some muscle, all of the above, then check out my RJF Anabolic Cookbook, link in my description. All my secrets are in here, man. You get it one time, you get every future recipe I have for free. So if you have it already, this recipe is now in there, so go grab that updated copy. So if you guys are ready to get another epic video underway, then as always, man, I'm here to do it for you. Let's do it! Yeah! And the best part about this recipe is how simple it is, man. A lot of people say they don't have time to cook breakfast in the morning, but I'm telling you, if you got like the five minutes it takes to put this together, about five more minutes to cook it, you can do it too. So with a mixing bowl on a food scale, I'm gonna add in 276 grams of liquid egg whites. Then we're gonna follow this up with 30 grams of Hershey's sugar-free chocolate syrup. Gonna help infuse that chocolate flavor down into each piece of our French toast. And then finally, I just toss in three grams of a zero calorie sweetener. And then real quick, I'm just gonna take a whisk, whisk everything together until we have one smooth batter here. Once our batter's all whisked up, I'm gonna set it to the side, and I'm gonna pull out four slices of white bread. I always talk about how crucial bread selection is, and really we're just looking at calories. This is 60 calories a slice. Nature's own butter bread. Flavor's amazing, can't really beat it. And all we wanna do is take each slice of bread, dip it down in our concoction, let it soak up a good amount of these egg whites, that chocolate, that sweetener, and when you pull it out, you can see it's holding on to all of that goodness. And I'll just go in and do this with every one of my slices. And keep in mind, if you get some bread that's like 20 calories a piece, it might not hold all your wash here. So I find that 50 to 60 calories a slice is that sweet spot. And once our pieces are dipped, I just got a pan here preheated to medium heat, hit it with nonstick. And I'm just gonna go in and sit my French toast down right on here. And keep in mind, you can do four slices at a time, but I got a thumbnail to make, which means I'm gonna play the safe route that way. You guys actually watch the video. So if you made it this far, hit that thumbs up button for me, subscribe and leave a comment. I don't care what you put. And then basically at this point, it's pretty simple. We're just gonna wait like three to four minutes each side, let this cook, flip it three to four more minutes and you're in business. You can cook it even faster if you cook it at a higher heat, which is what I do if I'm not trying to get the prettiest French toast for a thumbnail. So all in all, this breakfast can be made super quick. So I'm gonna let these cook and I'll return when the French toast is done. Come on. And boom, after just a few minutes, we got our pile of chocolate French toast done, but we are not finished yet. What we're gonna do now is create a chocolate syrup to put on top of this, check it out. With a measuring cup sitting on a food scale, I'm gonna toss in 14 grams of Lily's dark chocolate baking chips. You can also use sugar-free. Weigh those out right in here. And now all I wanna do is toss this in the microwave for like 60, 90 seconds on high until this chocolate is melted. I'll be right back. And after a little stretch in the microwave, you can see our chocolate chips are soft down in there. I'm gonna set them back on a food scale and I'm gonna add in 60 grams of sugar-free maple syrup, the regular pancake kind. So we're gonna have a mixture of melted chocolate combined with maple syrup. And I'm telling you, the flavor is out of this world. And once you got it in there, go in with a spoon and stir everything together. Break that chocolate up. It should be melted and gooey like so. Just keep stirring until it's fully incorporated and we have a nice chocolate maple syrup. And then once your chocolate syrup is mixed up, just go in with your measuring cup and slowly drizzle it all over your French toast. And once you get all your chocolate syrup on there, you should be left with a pile of French toast that looks something like this. Mm -hmm. 
And boom. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you chocolate anabolic French toast. We have chocolate infused French toast by itself, then we created our own chocolate maple syrup. If you've been getting tired of the same old boring breakfast, try switching it up and adding a little chocolate into your morning routine. If you made it this far into the video, please smash thumbs up for me, comment below, subscribe, and you know what? Ladies and gentlemen, I think it's time to pull up a chair, strap on the old feet bag and try this thing together. You guys ready? Let's go. Oh boy, it's French toast time. First, if you've been looking for a good, high quality whey protein that is perfect for recipes, amazing flavor, check out finalbossperformance.com. Could RGF10 will save you 10% on that cinnamon toast swirl. People love this protein and the anabars that we're dropping soon. We basically, I mean, we got cinnamon swirl crunch. So it's basically, if you like the protein, the bar, ooh, gonna hit you in the begonia. It's good stuff, check it out. All right, man, let's get down in here. Let me do a bite from the front here. Now you guys can see a little bit of that. Best thing about this breakfast too, obviously you got the chocolate, but this is super filling, man. Loaded with protein, loaded with flavor. Okay, hold on, let me see. Let's hope we don't drip on this table. We got the chocolate French toast. She gonna be a treat. Three, two, one, let go. Basically, if you love French toast already and you like chocolate, then it's a no-brainer. It's everything you already loved plus chocolate. I can't think of a single thing in life that doesn't get better with the addition of chocolate, except a dog. I don't think dogs and chocolate go together. But other than that, you can't lose with chocolate. Now, I read a comment a couple videos ago. Someone in the section was livid. They were like, Remington, I have to quit watching your videos. You were talking with food in your mouth too often. I gotta be like, bud, take a chill pill for a second. You don't gotta watch. If it irritates you that bad, you you don't gotta watch, bud. Take a deep breath, go back to your safe space, hold on to one of your participation trophies and just think about it. Cause it's really not that big of a deal, man. The kids these days, you gotta talk them off a ledge every time you turn around, it ain't even funny. Now, if you make this recipe exactly how I did it, what you end up with for the whole thing is only 508 calories, eight grams of fat, 39 grams of protein, 70 grams of carbs, five grams of fiber. For me, that's a perfect filling breakfast. If you are on lower calories than I am, I eat quite a bit, I do a lot cardio, I go to the gym a lot. If you need less calories or a bigger deficit, all you gotta do, which I always preach this, is take all the ingredients I used and divide them by two. Use half the egg whites, use two slices of bread. Take all the macros, divide them by half. Get what I'm saying. So if I'm keying a recipe, for instance, into my fitness pal, and I'm making one of my own, but I'm doing it that way, I'm only making half of it, all I do is add in the full recipe, and when I go to serving size, I go to half. Poof, it's that simple, man. All right, man, I'm soaking up as much of this syrup as I can here. I feel like I want a figure eight racetrack. We can play with our food here, man. There ain't no rules in this kitchen. And we are down to the final bite. Let's go. Mm. I mean, it's uh, it's a 10 out of 10. It's French toast, which I already love. I love French toast, I love syrup. All we did was added chocolate to it. We infused that flavor into the French toast, made our own custom chocolate syrup that's uh, incredible. I mean, and you see it. Not only am I full, I'm satisfied. My sweet tooth is gone. I just had some chocolate. I kept it anabolic. Life is good. And you already know, if you got that cookbook, go get the most updated copy. This is now in there along with every other one of my anabolic recipes. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, dessert. We're eating like kings around here, man. We don't gotta feel guilty about loving food. The culture brainwashed us too. There's a McDonald's, a Popeye's, ice cream aisle. There's a whole aisle full of ice cream at your grocery store, right? We've been brainwashed into all like liking all these foods that ain't good for us. But what we do around here, we shift the odds in our favor. We ain't giving anything up. We're eating good. We're just making the better choices, man. This diet changed my life. And I mean that on everything. And uh, I know that if you actually give it a shot and you've been having trouble with anything else you've been doing, this could be the game changer, man. So link in my description if you want the ultimate toolkit right in your pocket. Appreciate you guys. Guys, as always, smash that thumbs up button for me. Comment anything down below for that algorithm. Subscribe, we got tons of great videos coming, more than you can even realize. You can't even fathom what we got coming. It's that good. Thanks for sticking around and checking out the video. And um, until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I'll see each and every one of you at the next video. See you guys. All right, got a little bit of chocolate left and don't you think for a second, I'm letting that go to waste. Mmm, chocolate.